In this video we're going to take a look at ledger lines and bands that play in low tunings. Ledger lines are for notes written above and below the staff. For example if you were transcribing a lead part for guitar you'd most likely need ledger lines for the higher notes in the solo. Here's a quick example. So from the high G on top of the treble staff the next few notes will need ledger lines to write them in correctly. G A B and C These can go much higher or much lower depending on what instrument you're writing for. The range of an electric guitar is a full 4 octaves from the open low E string here to the 2nd fret of the D string to the open high E string to the 12th fret of the high E string and finally the 24th fret of the high E string. So as you can see the lower notes on guitar need a number of ledger lines underneath the treble staff. In standard tuning the open strings on a guitar are as follows. The low E string is 7 ledger lines below the treble staff. The A string is just under the 5th ledger line below the staff. The D string is on the 4th ledger line below. The G string is just under the 2nd ledger line. The B string is just below the 1st ledger line. And the high E string is on the bottom line of the staff. In rock and metal music it's common to come across songs and bands that play guitar in lower tunings such as Guns N' Roses and Slayer's early stuff like Raining Blood in E flat. Others such as Rage Against the Machine play in drop D, Cradle of Filth and System of Down in drop C. In some cases you will come across bands that prefer to play as low as drop B or drop A on standard 6 string guitars. These would be bands like Slipknot, Ramstein and Machine Head, or Pantera in B standard, and the latter Slayer albums like God Hates Us All or Divine Intervention also in B standard. If you play 7 or 8 string guitars, they'll go as low as a B standard on the 7th string. Bands like Korn and Fear Factory tend to favour these, and most of the gent bands like After the Burial, Sleeping Giants, and Meshuggah prefer an 8 string tuned to F sharp standard. As for the notes and ledger lines below the treble clef, whether you play in E standard on a 6 string or a ridiculously low 8 string at F sharp, a quick tip to circumvent having too many ledger lines is to write the treble clef at the start of a bar with a small 8 attached to the bottom of the clef like so. This 8 raises the notes written one octave up but audibly they stay at that same low register. Alternatively you could just write in the bass clef and transcribe them on that but that may become confusing as you'd be hopping back and forth between treble and bass clefs but then again if you go as low as an 8 string guitar you might be better off transcribing entirely on the bass clef. It may not be academically correct but if it works then why not. Anyway, that's all for this video. Be sure to like, subscribe and leave a comment below in the comment section. And thanks for watching. See you next time.